Today I'm showing you guys Kathleen Klein that works for one of the latest versions of Minecraft Java Edition. You can still get the 1.21.41 right over here, but I'm going to be showing it to you guys for 1.21.9. I'm on their website right now. To get here, it'll be linked right down in the description below. You can simply tap this download button and our download is going to start automatically. Now as a proof of how legit this client is, we can scroll down all these things. Very, very cool. All looks amazing. Down to the reviews and where is is Kylab's oh here's here's Kylab's review. I mean this this review just says it all to be honest. Kathleen actually also requires the Fabric API. I will link this down in the description below as well. And actually also the Fabric Language Kotlin add-on and so make sure you also download that of course for the uh correct game version. Anyways as you might have been able to guess Kathleen does require Fabric to be installed for Minecraft 1.21.9. If you don't have that yet or you're not sure where to get it, then I will link it right down in the description below. Anyways, for right now, with these three mods in my downloads, we can simply go ahead and put these inside of the mods folder. To get there, press on Windows and R at the same time and then type in app data. Then in this location, you go into the folder called roaming, then dot Minecraft, and then your mods folder. Ignore what was already there and drag in these three mods just like that. And once you also have that, we can close this up, open up the Minecraft launcher, and play Fabric 1.21.9. So, with the client inside of Minecraft, I would quickly like to say if this video is helping you out, if you're going to actually use this, then of course make sure to subscribe as a token of appreciation and of course for a lot more content like this as well. Anyways, I'll just head into a random Minecraft world over here. So inside of Minecraft, to start using this client, you want to press on the button P on your keyboard. Yes, P, and that is going to open up this client's UI, this being the click UI right over here. And I mean, Kathleen, it has to be one of my favorite clients, man. It is fantastic. Uh, as you can see, there are four main categories over here, PVP, Movement, Visual, and Utility. Then they have even different subcategories as well. So there's actually more modules here than you might expect. As you can see, PVP, for example, has an attack category, which is open by default with all of these utilities. However, they also have a legit as well as protect section containing even more utilities. This was a little odd at first because they don't automatically show you everything the client has to offer. So you might actually miss some things because this client has so much. Kathleen, uh, Kathleen is amazing. Anyways, apart from just that, of course, we can click on these utilities to turn them on. Click on them once again to turn them off. And we can actually right click on them and they'll get some customization. I mean, this this speaks for itself, right? Kathleen has amazing customization. Did I already say that I love it? Anyways, it works the exact same for all of the other utilities. Very nice. The UI is really clean too, really easy to use. Just fantastic. In this Windows area over here, we have a few different panels that you can use. A config manager with UI on a Java client. That's actually kind of rare nowadays unless you're paying $60 for a client. Kathleen is free. Anyways, you can actually create separate configs for modules as well as heads up display. We can edit these, create them, management, you guys get the idea. If you ever want to reset the defaults, then well, you can do so there. This will also automatically print all your keybinds in the chat. For the rest, you can create macros, homies, waypoints, and proxy here as well, though I haven't actually tried that one. Homies is obviously a, a friends manager. <laughs> Anyways, for the HUD, we have an entire other tab for that as well. So even more things that weren't initially displayed in the click GUI. As you can see, the FPS is toggled by default. But you can turn on anything that you like and then uh, move it to wherever you want. They've even got snapping, which I, I love snapping. Or better said, I hate it when clients don't have snapping. So definitely check that out. Extensive HUD and then, of course, a theme editor as well. Because why not? We've got the default Kathleen theme over here and you can download things from the internet, stuff like that. Finally, there's a search bar that works in the UI area and you can just click on search and bam, it will now automatically reduce stuff like this. This is low-key giving me Apple vibes, like do you guys know what I mean? This is, uh, this is amazing, the client is great. So 
Why is this client so good? Why have you never heard of it? Well, Kathleen is actually kind of a continuation of a, a probably my favorite Java Edition client for later versions, which was Thunderhack Recode. Surprisingly enough, Thunderhack Recode was a continuation of Thunderhack Plus, but I guess that makes sense. No, but Kathleen was is made by the, the same developer as that Thunderhack was. Thunderhack was amazing. Kathleen is amazing, and you should definitely check it out. Peace.